stories about the gear. This is my 2013 Made in Mexico Fender Stratocaster. Let's start with a close-up. Lake Placid Blue ceramic pickups, six screw tremolo or vibrato bridge, whammy bar, whatever you want to call it. Five-way blade switch, volume, uh, tone for the neck, and tone for the middle. We'll talk about this little black switch later. Rosewood fingerboard. So this is one of the last years they did that before the CITES regulation kicked in. 70s style Fender logo. Normal tuners that you'd get, not the vintage ones that poke down in and you gotta wrap around or the uh, locking ones. Back of the headstock, skunk stripe on the neck, four bolt neck, normal back plate. So I got this for my 13th birthday because I got it in 2014. My mom, dad, grandma, and pap gave it to me. This is the first Fender Stratocaster and first true electric guitar I ever had because I had other ones that were more like toys or they broke pretty easily. This is my second strap, the Maple Neck strap, which we'll get to in the next video. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a Maple Neck and it's 22 frets. This is 21 frets. Electronics are a bit different, but I'll explain that one in the next video. Excuse me. This one has a sticker. I made this when I was in shop class in 7th or 8th grade. No. Eighth, yeah, eighth grade, and I put Guitar Man on it because I saw Paul's Bass Man sticker. I love the color red, and I want to stick a sticker on here. And I should have put it in a better spot. You couldn't put it here because I was putting my picks here. This would have scratched it up. I wanted to put it here, but it only looks good like this on the stand. But I like it. So got your normal five-way blade switch. Quick thing to tell you: this guitar set up in drop D. <laughs> standard the other day for church but I have it in drop D for most performances on this guitar but we're just going to run you through some tones this is the neck pickup neck and middle middle bridge and middle bridge Now the neck on switch, this is a little black switch, when I push it down the neck is activated so I get these two pickups together. Uh, and if I flip the blade switch back to where it would be these two together, this is also on so I get all three. That one's more for like acoustic guitar type things, so I'll slap on a compressor and maybe do some cowboy chords. was when I'm on this pickup and this pickup together yes it does do the Telecaster thing but when I was listening to Octopus's Garden the other day I realized it was on a Telecaster because you can only get it on a Telecaster unless you modify your guitar <laughs> one of my favorite Beatle intros but besides the neck on switch and just being a fan of the bridge pickup one of my favorite tones on this is, remember I told you the tone knob is connected to this pickup. Tone knob is connected to this pickup, the middle pickup. When I have it like this, it sounds like a cocktoi. Doesn't sound good clean, but you slap on some fuzz. <laughs> Brian May I've also written 
some heavier tunes with this kind of sound. Uh, with distortion because the ceramic pickups can take it really well but it's also good this drop d type of tuning for when i do my telecaster type sound on this for a kind of albatross inspired song <laughs> It takes clean effects really well as, as well, really well as well. <laughs> but there's a lot of sentimental value to this guitar because it's my first true Fender electric, my first electric really, my first true electric. And I've learned countless Beatles songs, Beach Boy songs, attempted to learn some Queen songs over the years. This was the one. It was always by my side. I wrote many of my own songs on it, a couple of the ones you've probably seen on YouTube as well. It's honestly my favorite. This one or the Maple Neck one I'd probably run into save from a house fire. But I don't want to be the next BB King in that sense. Uh, like I said, beautiful guitar, very nice tonal variations, especially with this new modific modification. Uh, hope you enjoy this story. I'm gonna play it out before we leave. Gonna try on with Dr. Robert. Hit you with some uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. 